Hey guys, it's Julia. In today's video, I'm really excited to be talking about my favorite colorful makeup products. So these are my favorite like eyeshadow palettes and makeup products that really just make me want to step out of my comfort zone and play a little bit more with colors. So if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, I post a lot of colorful makeup looks. I do not ever shy away from color. I really love utilizing color on my eyes, on my lips, everywhere. And I think over the past few months especially, I've really just stepped out of my comfort zone and learned how to play with colors correctly, just create really fun colorful looks. Obviously today I'm wearing a very bold red eye look and this is just an example of how I like to play with colors. So I'm going to be going through my 10 favorite palettes that really just make me want to step out of my comfort zone and play with colors. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. So let's get right into my favorite colorful makeup. I'm just going to start off with what I use today to create this eye look. This is the Morphe 39A palette. It's so big I can barely even fit it into the frame. But this is the Dare to Create palette. I know this is a limited edition palette, but I believe you can still get it on Ulta and Morphe.com. So here are the colors in here. And the reason I love this so much is that there's four very distinctive colors stories so you have over here you have just some neutral browns and then of course in the middle you have all the neutral brown transition shades but then you also have this kind of like red tone berry color story you have gorgeous gorgeous cool tone blues and then some beautiful like kind of earthy greens olive greens and stuff like that and I honestly don't have anything like this in my collection these colors are very new to me I don't have anything like this beautiful like bold red that I'm wearing all over my eyes today I love the navy blues all of these shadows are amazing and they just perform beautifully. Probably one of the best formulas from Morphe. I think very on par with what the Jaclyn Hill palette has. And these are just amazing. They're blendable, they're extremely pigmented, they just create beautiful looks. And I think this is definitely representative of the new direction that Morphe's taking with their brand. And I'm very, very happy that I have this palette because this just really pushes me out of my comfort zone. It has so many beautiful like jewel tone colors. And this is just really what I'm looking for in the makeup industry right now. So yeah, it's a big honker. It can be a little bit overwhelming when you first open it because you're like, oh my god, what do I do first? But whenever I want to do a really colorful eye look, I will just focus on one of these color stories. And of course, you can kind of like mix, mix and match whatever you want. But still, the 39A palette is $32, so it's less than a dollar per pan. You're getting a lot of eyeshadow in here. And it's just really, really amazing. So I 100% recommend this. This inspires me to no end, and I really love this palette. Another palette that just really changed the way I thought of color theory and makeup was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture palette. So I know this is a very controversial palette because of the formula. I understand that a lot of people really do not like the formula. It can be difficult to work with, I will admit that. And this is not a palette for the faint of heart. If you don't like spending a lot of time on your eyeshadows and creating very intricate looks, you're probably not going to like this. But the reason I love this so much is because the colors and the color story is so innovative to me. I think Norvina did a really amazing job of picking so many colors to create a really inspiring color story. Whenever I look at this, I really just want to play with some of these like mustard and muted tones here, like New Wave and Edge. Before buying this palette, I'd never put a teal on my eyes, like Untamed or Axis. And honestly, I just love this palette so much. The formula can be tricky at first. I The first couple times I tried this palette, I really just did not like it. But over time, I've kind of just honed my skills with this palette. I've realized different techniques to using it that can really get the pigmentation that this packs to just show up on the eyes in a beautiful way and not be difficult to work with at all. So I really enjoy this palette. I know a lot of people hate it and I respect everyone's decisions. I don't want to cause any like controversy or drama with this palette, but I just love this one. This really inspires me and I think it's one of the best that Anastasia has ever done. So this is $45. You're getting 14 shades in here and it's just a really inspiring color story to me. So I really adore this palette. There are many dupes if you don't want to work with this type of formula, but you really want to be inspired by the colors. I think ever since the release of the Modern Renaissance, there's just been a plus of warm tone palettes that are coming out in different variations. I think Huda Beauty really just threw a curveball in there and changed the game and I think now everyone's releasing like purple tone palettes but this just really inspired me to no end. So this is the Huda Beauty Desert Dust palette and I've spoken about this a lot on my channel because I really adore this palette. I think the color story in here is really inspiring and very cohesive. You've got all these beautiful colors. I think there's only really a couple neutral looks you could create in here. The rest of them kind of force you to use certain colors that you wouldn't necessarily use in your everyday look. First thing that comes to mind for me is the shade here called Amethyst. I really have enjoyed using this one because it's just such a gorgeous like orchid tone purple. I also really really adore the shades Twilight and Retrograde. These duochromes really just inspired me to step out of my box and play with some different textures and colors. And then the glitter shade here called Cosmo, beautiful wine red glitter. It's very gorgeous. I love working with this one. And just in general, this palette has inspired me so much. I've created so many amazing looks with this one. And I really just love the color theory of this palette and the color story. So I think Huda did an amazing job with this palette. I definitely enjoy this one. Everything from the packaging and the colors inside tell a story to me. 
and just really inspire me to create some really fun looks. So I enjoy this palette a lot. It's $65, so it's pretty expensive, but in my opinion, it is worth it. So now on the more like affordable side of things, ColourPop actually created this palette called the My Little Pony palette. So I'm not a huge fan of My Little Pony. I never really watched them as a child, but when I saw the colors in here, I really had to pick this up because look at these. These are really fun colors. And at first glance, when I looked at it, I was like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do with this? Because there's so many different places your mind could go. But my first thought was to mix these three kind of like blue tones together. So uh, obviously I'm going to be flashing pictures of looks I've created on the screen, but um, I really like pairing these three blues together. These pinks are gorgeous, just create such a fun like raspberry flush in the crease. I really like this palette. For $16 you're getting 12 shades and it's a really fun palette. You can't really go wrong with this one. So I really enjoy this one. It's kind of inspired me to step out of my comfort zone and just get a little creative. Because when I first saw this palette I was like, there's no clear cut thing to do in here. And to make looks out of this palette, I've kind of had to use my brain, use my imagination, and just do some new things. So I really enjoy this palette. Definitely recommend this one. I'm not sure if it's still available, but ColourPop just makes really great eyeshadows, and yeah. It's actually a highlighter palette that I do like to use on my eyes, but this is a highlighter palette. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild palette. Honestly, I bought this without ever trying out a colorful highlighter before, and I just really wanted to get in on the trend and see what was going on. And this has kind of just introduced me to a whole new world of duochrome highlights and beautiful color shifts, and I've just really enjoyed it so far. So you can use these as shadow toppers or my personal favorite for inner corner highlighting and cheekbone highlighting. Anastasia kills it with her glow kit formula. I think every single glow kit I've ever tried has been amazing. But this one I just reach for whenever I want a really beautiful pop of color. If I'm doing a blue eyeshadow look, I'll go for blue ice, star, or blue moon. I actually like to layer all three of those sometimes. If I'm going for like a purple eye look, I'll go for purple horseshoe or pink heart. Obviously, if I'm doing pinks, I will go for pink heart. And then if I'm doing like greens, I'll go for lucky clover. Either way, it's just a really fun color story. It kind of has inspired me to just get out of my comfort zone. Again, that's kind of the whole premise of this video, but um... Before getting this palette, I would never have dreamed that I would have like a blue highlighter on my face, but it's a really fun look. I don't wear it every day, but I really just enjoy this palette. It's a very fun thing to have. When I want to add a pop to the inner corner or the brow bone or even the cheekbone, I will go for this one. It's just really beautiful. This palette is $40 and you're getting six shades in here and I believe it is still available on Sephora.com, Anastasia, Beverly Hills.com, and I think Ulta. Alright, so next is the Kylie Cosmetics Purple Palette. This was kind of my first foray into Kylie's eyeshadows. I never tried any of her eyeshadow palettes and I saw this color story and I was really inspired because I'm a warm tones girl. I love a good warm tone palette, obviously, from the stuff that I've been showing you guys. But this one had a very fun take on cool tones. I would actually use these colors. I could envision myself using them. I did go ahead and pick this one up and I've really enjoyed the looks I've created with this so far. It's notoriously hard to formulate a good purple eyeshadow, but I think Kylie has made some really beautiful pigmented purple eyeshadows in this palette. In the middle are really gorgeous. This lavender I wouldn't expect to be super beautiful, but it is. It's just a gorgeous like kind of transition shade. These two like plum purples are really great. The only shadow in here that doesn't really work as well as I'd want it to is this one down here, this purple shimmer, um, which is kind of weird because shimmers are typically easier to formulate. This one is called Amethyst. I can really only get some good color payoff using my finger, which I don't hate, but I would rather use a wet brush. Besides that one shade though, everything in here is amazing. I've really just enjoyed the looks I've created with this one. This has kind of forced me out of my comfort zone, kind of forced me to play with cool tones, and I've just created some really fun looks with this. So this palette is $38, a little bit cheaper than the stuff I've been showing you from like Anastasia and stuff. Um, it is a high-end, Kylie is a high-end brand, and you do get nine eyeshadows in here, but the pan size is pretty big. I couldn't go through this video without mentioning the one palette that really changed the way I do makeup and introduced me to using colors in the first place, and that is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. So I got this in, I think, July last year, and for the entire month of July, this was the only palette I used. It was the only palette I brought with me to Columbia, New York. So when I was living there for a month doing classes, this was the only palette I was using. And I adore this palette. It is so, so beautiful. Um, obviously, there are a lot of neutrals in here. It's not a completely colorful palette. You do have a good array of neutral shades, but that just makes this my perfect travel palette. It has literally everything I could ever need if I'm wanting to create basically any eye look. There's so many colors in here that have really inspired me. Like the creamsicle shade here called um, Creamsicle. Um, and then you have some beautiful reds. I really like the shade Hunts, um, Jacks. 
beautiful shades. And then of course you've got the blues and purples over here and this is kind of bringing a little bit of cool toneness to the palette but also some just beautiful like pops of color. So this was kind of my first introduction to using colors on my eyes. I would do like a neutral crease and then just a pop of color all over the lid but um, this is just kind of the perfect introduction palette to using colors and I really adore this palette. It is my favorite in my collection. I love basically every single shade in here. This has everything I could ever need. It's $38 and you get 35 shades in here. Again I think it's a really good deal and it's definitely one of the best formulas and best palettes I've ever tried in my life. You see, I don't have a Morphe code. I'm a small YouTuber. All my opinions are honest. I really genuinely just love Morphe and I do like their products a lot. So yeah. So this next one isn't actually a eyeshadow palette. It is kind of a lipstick palette, but I have used this on my eyes before. I'm not sure if that's necessarily safe, but um, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick palette. I know when this came out, a lot of people were kind of like, I'm never going to use that. I, a lot of people were really bothered by this because it appears to be, at first glance, just something that is geared towards only pro makeup artists and not the average consumer. I wouldn't necessarily qualify myself as a pro makeup artist. I do freelance work every now and then, but most of the time I'm just doing makeup on myself. And even just as a consumer or a beauty YouTuber, I really enjoy this palette. It has basically every lip color I could ever want, so if I'm doing a very bold eye look, I can mix up any color I want in this palette and just create a lip to go with that bold eye look. Or if I'm doing particularly artsy eye looks, I will actually use some of these on the eyes. So I'm going to flash a picture of a look I did here. I painted a planet onto my eyes using these pink shades here. The lipstick palette is $48. It's an amazing formula. It's definitely comparable to the Anastasia lipsticks in the bullet form. And this is just really, really good. So again, on the more affordable side, I have the Bad Habit Dream State palette. So this is from Bad Habit Beauty, which is sold on shophush.com. I am actually doing a collaboration video with Shop Hush coming soon on my channel, so stay tuned. Um, um, but this is one of the palettes that I got from them. I did actually pay for this one myself. And this is a dupe for the Fenty Beauty Galaxy palette. So if you have that palette, I think this would be a very similar thing and you could totally create the same looks using this palette. But I have really enjoyed the duochrome shimmers in here. These are like pressed glitter shadows and they're very, very shiny, very foiled. I just love these palettes. I just love these colors, and my favorite way to use these is actually layering different duochromes. So I'll, I'll flash that picture I just put from the Anastasia palette up here on the screen. That space look I did, I actually layered a bunch of duochromes in here to create that. So first I laid down Trance, which is like a blue, um, kind of like galaxy shade, and then I just layered every duochrome that was like purple or blue toned on top of that, and it just created the most amazing, like super glittery, glitter bomb eye look, and it was beautiful so I really love this palette you basically just have so many like topper shades in here whenever I'm doing an eye look and I want something a little bit more bold I'll just reach in here add a little duochrome shimmer on top and it's just so beautiful it just takes it to the next level so so this palette is amazing I think it's $14 and I could not recommend this enough the packaging is gorgeous I just I can't recommend this enough so Shop Hush did a really amazing job with this palette I think this is one of the best in my collection and now the last palette that I have to show you guys is from Anastasia Beverly Hills I know I've mentioned a lot of stuff from them in this video but so the palette that I'm going to talk about right now is the Anastasia Prism palette. So this was their limited edition holiday release. And the thing I like so much about the fact that this was a holiday release was that they could really create whatever they wanted. They didn't have to make a bunch of neutral shades in here. They didn't have to make it accessible for the everyday. They could just throw in so many fun colors in here and just be like, here, play. And I really enjoy that. And this palette has so many shades in here that I had never used in my entire life. And I love that there's so many duochromes in here because I really enjoy that type of thing. So Lucid is like a... So Lucid looks white in the pan, but it is like a champagne gold shift. Dimension is a really fun, like kind of bluish gray. It's very fun. I don't normally use cool tone shades like that, but this has kind of inspired me to use more cool tones on my eyes. Thrown down here is a beautiful like green shimmer shade. It has a little bit of duochrome black shift in it, so it's really beautiful. And then Pyramid is a, a true gold. This is kind of a basic color, but paired with everything else in here, it just really pulls it together. Of course, there's a shade up here called Sphere. It is a highlighter like yellow. This is very fluorescent and neon, and I would never play with anything like this before getting that palette, but this has really Really inspired me to step out of my comfort zone. I've used every single shade in here and this is just so inspiring to me. So I really enjoyed the Anastasia Present palette. I think Norvina just creates some amazing color stories and really inspires me with her color theories. And then like the subculture, this is $45 and you're getting 14 shades. And so that concludes my top 10 most inspiring colorful makeup products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite colorful makeup products that really inspire you are. I'd really love to try some of your favorites as well. Make sure you're also following me on my Instagram if you want to see makeup looks I create. I create a lot of colorful looks, so if you're a fan of that, definitely give me a follow at Julia C. Mazzucato. And yeah, if you made it to the very end of this video, I love you so much. Thank you very much for watching my channel.